Hey, how's it going? This week, I'm going to show you how to shoot multiple arrows. First thing you got to do is have your basic fundamentals, archery. Basically, once you get used to this, if you can shoot one balloon, you can shoot two. And I'm just going to go ahead and let you know, you do this at your own risk. There's different possibilities that could happen, but most likely your arrow will come off the shelf as you're drawing back. So keep very close attention on your arrows as you're drawing back. Now, there's a lot of times I will let down if the arrows ain't working right. There's different ways of doing it. I see Byron, he has, a, he'll have an arrow knocked up here and another rest up here to do the arrows. Now, that's the, I think that's probably the best way because it stays consistent through any range. But I'm not gonna set up a bow just for multiple arrows. I like to use my own bow. So basically, I like to have one knock point. You could have two, but a lot of times I'll knock above the knock point. But for this one, I'm gonna show you how to shoot two arrows close together. Now you wanna be close to the target at first, cause you don't know how your arrow is gonna shoot and you wanna be extremely safe and make sure you're aware of your surroundings and nothing's in harm's way. You don't wanna shoot the neighbor's cat. So I'm gonna show you how to shoot two arrows close. The first thing you'll do is knock the arrow normally, your first one. Next one, I like to knock the arrow above the knock point. Whenever I knock it, I want it about half an inch to a quarter inch apart. You just gotta play around with it. But basically what I wanna do, I wanna have the bow canted. And if you see for this one, the arrows are not quite working right. So I'll spread them out and kind of do some problem solving to make sure they're together. And I want them basically one above the other. And sometimes you gotta twist your knocks around to mess around with the arrows to make sure they're like that. And sometimes you gotta play around to pull back to see how it's gonna shoot. This is a two arrows together. I'm gonna start from left to right. So I'm gonna pull back, make sure it's good. Pull back again. Now there's two arrows close together. Now to shoot it spread out, we're gonna take two arrows. We're gonna knock it above the knock point. And I'll, this is where the split finger comes in because I want to pinch the knocks together to cause the arrows to spread more. And this time we're going to do it full draw. I'm going to shoot right from the two arrows that are close to each other. You know, that's how I typically shoot my balloons. Now, I'll show you a way to spread them out more. So we're going to do the same exact thing, pinch the knocks together, and we're going to go half draw. All right, I'm going to shoot to the right of the ones I just shot. All right, if you notice, my top one went higher and that's for going half draw and uh, they'll spread more. But you gotta realize this, all these shots, even with the ones touching together, the further you go, the farther they'll spread apart. So you just gotta realize that if you're starting to move back and do farther shots. Basically for this equipment you need, you can use a longbow recurve compound, whatever, but it works better with a longer bow because you don't want knock pinch. You don't want a tight, if you have a short bow, sometimes you'll pull it back and the, the arrows will come off. I'm gonna show you what I like to do to practice for balloons. And these are just two. I do, you can do this with clothes hangers, whatever. I usually use like fence and wire to do this. Something skinny that you don't really care about breaking. So we got two circles here. We're gonna pretend like them balloons. I usually practice on these because I don't feel like blowing up balloons every time I shoot. So with the, with the two arrow shot, what I like to do, it's gonna hit a little bit higher than you're used to. So I like to aim right at the, right where the two balloons meet. So we're gonna give this a shot and see what it does. So this is a practicing for the two balloons 
we're going to try to hit get both arrows in each one of them circles. The top arrow is going to hit the top circle. The bottom arrow is going to hit the bottom circle. All right. That would be two pop balloons right there. All right. So now we have the wire to the side here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shoot accordingly. I'm going to tilt the bow to however I want it. Now, naturally it's going to shoot high. So I got to aim a little bit to the left. I'm still going to aim where the two balloons meet. So for this scenario, I got the top circle is to the left of the bottom circle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same method that I would if I was going to shoot the bow sideways, turn, turn my fingers down, pull back and aim like that. Let's give it a try. For this scenario, we have both of the circles side by side. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take the bow and we're going to turn it to the side like that. All right, let's give it a try. Now, naturally, it's going to shoot right, so I'm going to aim a little bit more to the left. That's how you do it. Now, since we got to practice in with the wires, now it's time to hit balloons. So we'll, so now that we got the basic fundamentals of it, we're going to take two knocks, pinch them together, pull back, and shoot. Let's give it a try. That's my tip of the week. Make sure to be very careful. Do this at your own risk and uh, have fun with it. Be close, be aware of your surroundings. Um, just play around with it, okay? If you, if you see here, I'm always shooting out in the open field where nobody's around for at least a mile. So I know my arrows won't go a mile, but I just try to be that safe. But uh, if you want to, give it a try. And that's my tips and tricks for this week. Thank you.